June 22nd, 2017. I don't know why I tell you guys the year every morning, but I do. Yesterday, after our marabou jig slam, we've come to two conclusions. One, I have no more marabou jigs. The hooks that I bought, the jig heads, they didn't have enough body to them, like the, the lead part, so when Mars Barch tied them on, the fish grabs it and pulls all the marabou out. So we are going to run to Gagnon Sports in Oshawa, Ontario. Hopefully they have some better jig heads. Hopefully they have some marabou. We're gonna get those. We're gonna drop those off to Mars Bar. He's gonna tie us some more, and somewhere today, we're gonna go fishing. If the rain holds up, and hopefully, we get the first big one of the year. I, I've caught a lot of fish. I haven't caught any very many big ones. So, man, I love bass fishing. All right, we're here at the good old Gagnon Sports. We need material for tying marabou jigs. So we can slam some more fish. Can you come down and see me at the back when you're done? Yeah, sure. I'll swing by. Okay, man. I'm here with Justin. We're getting the, hey, say hi. Say hi. hi. We need jig heads and marabou. All right. Now, do you want colored or plain lead? Colored. One sixteenth, and I think we should try one eighth ounce too. Here we go. Well, here's eight. There's sixteen. There's thirty second. And that's too light. Eighth is probably the one eighth. White, black. We'll try black. One. We have one sixteenth. Here we go, and we'll do this. There we go. Marabou. Justin, where are we find the marabou? This way, my friend. So much going on. <laughs> Place is busy, busy. Yeah, we got construction here on our gun range. Start. Gun range is coming to Gagnon. I'll give you a little tour in a minute. Okay. Marabou. Marabou. Black. Awesome, awesome. Marabou, jig heads. You always need marabou. More smallies. <laughs> if you don't go brown, you might as well not even fish a tournament. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Good thing I'm not fishing tournament. <laughs> All right, I got my marabou jig stuff and Justin is going to give me a secret look at the Brand new gun range that's going in. What do we got here, man? Wow, this well, right here. Yeah, so this is our huge uh, common room area. Okay. We, this is where we'll have keys, couches, hand washing stations. Gotcha. Everyone so they can stroke each other's ego. Nice, nice. Make everybody feel real cool. Okay. This way is going to be our, our, we got six lanes going in here at 50 meters. Six lanes at 50 meters. So as you can see, they're putting up all the baffling right now. Nice. Yeah, that's so a got, big room. Yeah, we're actually adding another 45 feet on the back here. So we will be like one of the lar longest gun longest ranges. Longest gun ranges? That's uh, really cool, In man. Ontario, yeah. Probably one of the largest too for room. We actually have another 12 lanes ready to go on the other side of that No wall. way. In about two years we're gonna add it. So we'll have a total of about 27 lanes here. Wow. So, yeah. I didn't know that many people shot guns. We're full at a thousand members already. We wow. Have, we haven't even, you opened, haven't the even door. opened the door. <laughs> That's crazy. That's yeah. huge, man. So it's a really good expansion for us. And we're really looking when forward to it. When are you hoping to have it open? We are looking right now about August 1st to the 15th, right in there. That range? Yeah, so we're some Sweet. Super, I'm really excited. It's awesome, dude. Yeah. <laughs> hey, no problem, dude. Okay, I'm out. Justin, Thank as you. always. Thanks, man, always. No Appreciate problem. Thank you. I gotta catch fish. Okay, sounds good. Bye, guys. Yeah. That's super cool, new gun range going in. I come outside and it is raining here. We need to drop this tying equipment stuff off for Mars Bar, for he can get tying marabou jigs. And I need to find somewhere to go fishing. I want a big one. I really would like a, a bigger largemouth. We are home. Good to see my friends at Gagnon Sports. I did stop on the way home and drop off marabou jig material to Marley for he can tie that up and we can catch some more fish. Now we got well, we got a good question from Kyle who PM me on Facebook who asks, does it discourage me the lack of viewership? He asked me, does the lack of viewership discour on YouTube discourage me? Well, we're gonna, this is a, a, a pretty interesting question and I'm glad somebody asked it. First off, not really, not at all. I never started making fishing videos all those years ago. Become famous. Sure, I would like to make a living fishing and be able to bring fishing home to everybody in North America and all over the world and share my point of view and my story. The, the thing about YouTube is it is an absolutely amazing way for people to share their experiences in anything. It's an open platform for anybody to share. But the really big accounts, if you look closely, there's a ton of money being spent to market. If you look at YouTube as a satellite provider and everybody's YouTube channel as a TV channel, the big channels with lots of money and lots of backing are the ones that get the most play. So here at Fear Fishing, we have zero money, absolutely no money to market this channel that you're watching right now. We rely on you guys 
to share. With me being sick over the last year, we rely on clothing sales, not to make money, but just to keep fishing. If we don't sell, if you're fishing clothing, hats, I can't go fishing, I can't bring the vlog. So we're not making profit off fear fishing or the YouTube channel or anything at all. It's probably costing us money in the hole. The other side of this is when I got sick and I came home, I had realistically two options. I could lay on the couch and become depressed and my ADHD drive me crazy, or I could get out and do something. I only started the vlog basically to, for I would get up, do something, and then at the end of the day edit and upload something that I thought, you know, was it will have an angle, have a, like something that I thought proud of that I did to get exposure or anything. I just wanted to have something to do, something to, you know, I, I could work at and while my time off, I will tell you that a million times I want to quit. You can ask Amber all the time. I'm frustrated with stuff and I, I want to quit. But here's the thing. The vlog was meant to satisfy me and my own personal goals. Two, to show my kids that when you're dealt a crappy hand, there's always three options in anything. You can quit. You can work really, really hard and take the long way around to complete your goals or basically kill yourself. There's no third option. That's it. Those are the only ways you can deal with stuff. So I want, I appreciate every single view, every single comment, every single like on anything Fear Fishing. I appreciate every article of clothing because I can't grow this without you and without people watching, even if it's a small amount, we'll never get to that 100,000 or a million subscribers that I would like to reach to tell my story about, not about fishing or hunting, about hard work. I've been at this a long time. Without this vlog, I pretty much would have given up. The vlog, getting up, editing, bringing something, not only to you, but just to do something throughout the day, made the last 10 months bearable. Lots of times I wanted to lay in bed. I didn't feel well. I, I felt a lot worse than I let on camera. But every day that I would wake up and there'd be a message on my phone from some stranger who watched the vlog and, and showed me a, a fish or told me about something they had done or a life experience from them. And that would inspire me to get out of bed, get off the couch and go do something with my life. Sick or not sick, sometimes you just have to tough it out. That's the short answer. You know, if you watch lots of those popular fishing channels, the first vlog, they're living in their parents' mansion. So I'm sure there's all kinds of extra funds to be marketing their channel. And you know what? I'm not saying that every channel started like that, but everybody can win the lottery one. You know, somebody's got to win the lottery. So maybe with a little bit of luck, this catches on and we reach 100,000 or a million people, but it'll also be a huge part in your help. It's a community channel. I can't do this without you, and you can't watch this unless I get to fish. So we're gonna do some stuff around the house. We're gonna update the website, and then we're going fishing. Hope that answers your question. Made it to the launch, Tonneby River. We're gonna put the boat in. Hopefully we're gonna slay some bass. I will see you on the water. All right, we're on the river. Let the garbage fishing commence. We're gonna do whatever it takes to uh, hopefully haul in some big largemouth. There's no real game plan other than flip trees, fish pads, maybe throw some top water for some smallies. So let's get to it. Hopefully this all pans out. Oh. 
Yes! Yes! Oh, it's small, but I was starting to think I'd never catch a bass again. Gotta keep at it. Gotta keep at it. Find him some clean water. Yes! Heartbreak. Finally home. That was a tough go. I can't believe I lost those two big large mouth. Bonus musky. Landed one dinky little bucket. My theory of the Autonomy River when the current is strong for bass fishing means it's horrible. Especially largemouth. If you're getting them in the current out there, good on you because this guy isn't. On my way to fishing, my I was I was on a high, man. I thought, man, we are gonna knock this out of the park. It's nice and close. I know the river like the back of my hand. And boy, did was I wrong. Unbelievable how tough that was. Good day all around. Thanks to the good people at Canyons for the tour of the new gun range. That's gonna be really cool when that's up. Marley got the stuff for the marabou jigs. Tomorrow we're gonna take a day off for the vlog. We're gonna I gotta get caught up around here. Good Good high week one first you know I think we got six days seven six days into the bass season in Ontario it's been a good one fish are probably on post spawn it's gonna get really good here in the next few weeks it's good but it's gonna get really good so guys I want to thank you for all the support all the messages from today's vlog that I released about the hemochromatosis and George again Amber really appreciates it best fans and fishing right here watching the fear fishing channel remember share with all your friends the bigger we get it the more we can bring home to you i'm going to go eat some dinner it's like 10 o'clock now longest day ever gonna have nightmares about losing those two big fish especially the one on the frog man it was a tank here's what it is big shout out to rob jackson 50 50 got a 50 inch musky and a 50 inch car puck pike today check it out go over to his facebook it's actually pretty cool giant fish thank you everybody and we'll see you soon